Welcome back, guys. We are still deep in this conversation, and it is getting juicy. Another sensitive um, situation. I know what she's about to take us. Go ahead. (laughs) Mm-hmm, Before we go there, um, <laughs> let's talk about mental health. Mm. Um, you know, one of the things that Molly did not like about Issa was the fact that she was entertaining Nate. But um, <laughs> because one of the things that we touched on on our last episode, if you haven't checked it out, please um, check out our episode about the shot. Um, it's about, you know, forgiveness and moving past the things that people have done. And um, Nate did this little um, ghosting thing. Nate, a.k.a. Nathan. Yeah. Just so people know. Um, he did this whole ghosting thing. And it turns out he was having some... Mental health issues. Yeah, or like some like sort of depression. You know, it wasn't like, oh, I'm like schizophrenic or... Uh, He's like... bipolar. Yes, that is what he is. <laughs> bipolar, yes. There you have it. <laughs> so because of that, um, he was in a dark place and he had to take some time to step away. And um, I think that... Mental health has been talked about a lot more lately, Mm -hmm. but now some people just trade. Some people will go street. I, you know what? If I can be honest, I have been a horrible person. I've done before. Mm, Not better than now, huh? I said sometimes (laughs) I'm trashy. You did say that, so I admit mine. But I can say there has been progress, and I I notice it and I respect it. I see you, sis. (laughs) So (laughs) she tired of it. I mean, on a you very... You talk about the one that you can talk about. On a personal, none of us can talk about that. I'm that's not true. talking about none of On a personal that's level... Not, the, that's not smart. The thing that was no, hard wait. for me, because I definitely relate most in the show to Molly. Absolutely. I relate to Issa on the awkward black girl creative side, but I relate to Molly on the everyday life side. But um, I don't know why I was just doing this with my hands. Anyway, so I feel like with the whole situation with Nathan... I understand people having issues or, you know, whatever you have to deal with. We don't know the life that people live outside of their moments with us. And I'm all for, you know, black men taking care of their mental health. I absolutely advocate for it because I think if you take care of yourself, you'll be a better mate, you'll be a better man, you'll be a better father, a better son, all of that. Um, And for so long, men have been taught not to care about that part of themselves. It's like Mm -hmm. put all the weight on y'all, but never give y'all a support system and never give y'all like, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. But the issue that I have is if he's diagnosed and he knows, I think at a certain point when it's affecting her, he should have at least said something. Now, the thing about mental health is it's up to that person to decide. But how he was gonna... away yeah, when I he think found it out. It happened so quick, too, though. Like, they didn't know each other for that long either. And and I was going to say, and honestly, I, I mean, I'm just saying, but in all actuality, people, real talk. If you going through that, I I don't have time. If I'm going through that, I don't have time to be concerned about the person, the other person at that moment. Like I gotta, I gotta, you gotta. When something happens to you, you gotta take care of yourself first. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't you can't take care of somebody else. I can't. Or you could lose it on somebody. Yeah. So I I'm think not that, saying he needed to stop his life. I'm just saying a simple like, look, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be here. I'm I gotta deal with some stuff. Like that's that, so strange that you would say that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because especially as of late i'll say i am not I as can't. of late. late exactly so that's what i'm saying <laughs> and because people have told me through conversations that this is something that they want so it's crazy that when i say it it's like oh my why but when i do it it's like oh, because well, the, yes you wrong yeah no, well, so, i don't expect it from nobody else but you do it like that don't make sense to me and then really yes in a situation that i'm personally in it's just like it's a lot of work and to be that person that does not know because then now it's like the person on the other side, nobody wants to just, a, a lot of people don't want to just up and leave you when they don't know your problems. But if you say like, you know, it's a lot going on. Even me, like I can get very shut down and, and closed off. But if I say like, listen, I'm dealing with this. Y'all are more understanding. Like yes, literally. Yes, we are people that have been in your life for years. Now, if you t- meet somebody and y'all cool I said for it to two, somebody three weeks, I met. y'all cool if it's going for to two, three them. weeks. It was more than two, three weeks. They did not know each other that long. At At all. So to lay something that heavy on a person, first of all, he's probably embarrassed about it, number one. Mm -hmm. Second of all, he is mentally, literally mentally unstable. So for him to even be able to come back and kind of talk about it, like I think that that is something worth acknowledging because, first of all, it's like they not even on the same level. She's still talking to other niggas like... If you go and accept me back, sure, that's fine, that's cool. But I don't really have to tell you exactly all of that stuff. But because 
I do care because I did feel bad about it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to express that to you. And he clearly wants more with her. For sure. And I definitely think they're going to deal with that in the next. Well, that's nice. It would be nice. If I was Issa, it's not happening. What, being with him? No. Go deal with yourself. Fix yourself. You so broken. Go fix yourself. Oh, my that's the, gosh. That's what I'm do saying. That. You don't know if it's done. This is a lifelong process. It is a he lifelong just found process. Out. But so if it's a now lifelong that he's, process, he'll never be fixed. But now, okay. no. Now, now that he's learned. But now that he's he learned what's going on with him um and he's actually shared it because i'm quite sure it's not like something he go around like dude yeah i'm babola you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i don't think he does that so because he shared this part of him i'm almost positive that he would want to invest more in her well like i said it if it and me, then but I'm now good. now he's given the option for her to let her know you right. know what i'm saying yeah, if this, this is, is something that you can to. deal exactly. with and or not i just don't think that if she chooses not she should be villainized that's all Who's I'm saying. Villainizing I'm her? just saying we that. Was, period. Some people feel just, like, oh, he communicated. About. We should understand. Oh, oh like, no. I no. mean, some that's a that's. That's a hard thing for some people to deal with because yeah. they're up and down. You don't know. Some people want to be on the meds. Some people don't. You don't know how the meds are going to affect them exactly. and those type of things. And this is one of the things that I always talk about also is that you got to go through people through seasons of their life. And this is a primary season. Like, this is something that you you wouldn't know unless you were in it, you, yeah. you know, um, that could possibly come up. Because when we first saw him, we was like, oh, he cool. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong. He good. Oh, he nice and looking. They doing things, doing and, you know. Crazy stuff. Exactly. You know. He was really, and he. When you look back at it, you're like, "Wow, he was up, down one moment. They were just all over the place, doing all types of stuff, you know." Um, and now skinny dipping in that pool. I'm just like, saying, yeah. not even just that he did beat the fur off of that guy that first yeah, night. That thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you know, just looking back it. at it, you just like, "Wow, okay, I can see it," you know. So, but now you know, at least she has the option to decide, yay or nay. And especially yeah. now, you know, that, um, she got- <laughs> that she definitely got decisions to make. Um, Because, I mean, I guess that they kind of... I don't know if they really came to a conclusion. I'm not really sure if she really broke it off with Lawrence or not. We don't know. Yeah, we really not. But, yeah, so we're talking about that because we clearly got jumped to that. So, Lawrence, this whole season, Mm -hmm. has been entertaining Condola, Mm -hmm. who's a friend of Tiffany's. We Mm -hmm. met her at the baby shower. Mm -hmm. Yes. At the baby shower. She was there and was part of, like, her planning committee or whatever. And, um... Then Issa went for Issa's birthday. Molly took her to like see the Les Dragon in a graveyard. Creepy. But um, when she was there, Issa connected with Condola because she's like, you throwing events. I want to throw events. How mm-hmm. can we work together? Unbeknownst to her that she is talking to Lawrence at this point. Right. Um, and so then they, you know, become cool. They start working together. And then she finds out that Condola is actually talking to Lawrence. And I do, I respect Issa's maturity mm-hmm. because it does take a lot to be like, why and I think that's the one thing in a lot of relationships and that's why I think the talk is important because you always want to know why mm-hmm. like you look at the other person and even if you're not looking at them to tear them down it's like what do they have that I don't mm-hmm. or why are you able to do for them what you couldn't do for me and I know Issa is saying that because and I, but I think in in that instance when that those type of things happen, it's not necessarily what what that person could do for them, but it's mm-hmm. what they have done within their self. Yeah, and that, because don't look at he that. he right, and a lot of people don't. Yeah, they don't automatically go to what she got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know because I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I know how I'm rolling, so I don't understand. Well, I don't even think Issa but, had that moment because they were over already. You know what I mean? Right, but I mean, still in the back of her mind a little yeah, bit. I'm that's almost what I'm saying. Most people, she yeah. looked at it like Condola. like checked her out. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, even when she was like. Let me know what your ex is at so I can run up on them. Right, like, right, and, right. I don't think that she was saying it like maliciously because I think her and Condola genuinely had a good connection. But still, like, th- this Lawrence that you're with is not... Because when he came to her, it was like, don't be telling her mm-hmm, mm-hmm. past stuff about me. Right. So clearly, you feel like it's you want to represent yourself your way because the story, way. the truth that she has is not the truth you want to live in. Right. Because, I mean, honestly, because he he did make some very significant changes yeah. within his life Absolutely. Through, through the course of these seasons. We have... Seen him grow from cereal boy. <laughs> to, cereal one thing boy, I will say it. is, <laughs> I still ain't getting no woo woos on my phone again. <laughs> that STD really grew him up. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, a you mature, a good young, you know, businessman right now. Yeah. You know, he's, yeah. he's, 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 we thought you were gone in, you know, season one and season two. We thought you out of here. And they lied. They lied and said you were. But we knew. Back. But we knew. I think what really grew him up was Issa leaving. Definitely. I definitely so, and think sometimes, so, yeah. sometimes, you have to leave. 
Mm-hmm. You have to like it's and Yo. and and we don't it's always true. understand it or like it, especially the way that it happens. Um, but like you know how some people women say, uh uh-uh, uh, you ain't gonna leave me all that investment I didn't put in you mm-hmm. type of thing. But sometimes ladies, you just gotta let him go because that investment that you put in him will help grow him up. Yeah, to become what you need him to be. If and and I and I do truly believe that if it's meant to be, it will be. Yeah. Um. And but you just gotta trust that and. And if you even want it, because at the end of the day, she made the decision if she want if she wanted it. Yeah, but the thing is, every investment that you make won't mature in your time. That's right. And I think that's something that's very important because we do invest a lot in mm-hmm. any relationship, your friendship, your family, mm-hmm. romantic, all of that. And sometimes it's like, you know, I've shown you this or I did this. Where's the result? Where's this? Where's mm-hmm. that? And because it's affecting you, you want a more immediate result. But like you said, sometimes that moment of allowing that to happen without your interference Mm -hmm. is literally that. And I think I'm a person that I don't believe in potential. I believe in actions. And you can see somebody with so much potential. If they're not doing anything, that doesn't mean anything to me. Mm -hmm. That just means that you have good investment. But what are you doing with an investment? Like even now the people doing stocks and stuff, you can, your numbers can be great one day Mm -hmm. and then jumping off buildings the next Black Monday. I was about to say, y'all seen um, Black Monday. <laughs> but with that, it's just kind of like, you just really have to either respect the journey right, or you have to decide, like, am I willing to go on this ride? And you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know because who's to say if Issa and Lawrence stayed together all the time, he would be who he is today. Exactly. There's no, there's no saying that. Like, literally, you can't control when it's going to happen. So I'm definitely a proponent for take your potential and develop it and then meet me later in life. Right. And if it's meant to be. And that's the thing. Like, I think what ends up happening is people make drastic, quick decisions because of the fear of what if. Yeah. You know, you you can't keep constantly thinking of that what if. You got to think of what's now. Yeah. And and what you want. Right. So, because that what if will get you in a lot of trouble. That what if will get you married before you're supposed to be married. Mm -hmm. That what if will get you pregnant before you're supposed to have a kid. That what if will put you in jobs that you're not supposed to be in. Yeah. You know, that that what if period will just put you somewhere that you're not mentally, physically, or emotionally ready for. So, you just got to step back for a moment and just digest it and say, okay, all right, this is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. And this is who I want to be with. Well, this is not who I want to be with. And then be okay with it. Like, yeah. be okay with whatever decision you make and don't go back on it. Yeah. Because a lot of times we'll see, like, we'll make a decision and then we'll see something and be like, oh, wait, maybe I made a mistake. Right. No, stick with the decision that you made and stand firm in it and let the journey begin. And I just feel like with, um, dang, what was, you said, what if, all of that, not now. I believe also if sometimes people, you can keep thinking about it. Um, sometimes people <laughs> yeah. do show you or like they show you that you ha- they have potential, but um, I think they have to show you that they're working on that potential. Mm-hmm. They all, I've, uh, I keep seeing this post um, every little once in a while about how Tia Mari Hard is it Hardick? Yeah. Um, was with her husband, but he hadn't made it yet. Mm-hmm. I think he was like broke. He didn't have no car. He was just like doing real bad off. But I'm sure that he was working toward things. Right, she yeah. calls Lawrence cereal boy because he was eating <laughs> a lot of cereal because <laughs> he was home. on the couch <laughs> all the time. And honestly, I mean, Issa was tired of it. We talked about this episodes ago, mm-hmm. eons ago. I mean, mm-hmm. like you know, just like. So far long ago, because we've been around. <laughs> um, and, you know, when you're in that place, you get tired. So that, you know, the affirmation that you give and, you know, just the encouragement. Like, oh, babe, you got it. You can do it. Like, it turns into I ain't getting no whoops on my phone, nigga. Mm-hmm. And then he at the bank being encouraged by the teller. <laughs> and they sharing hot sauce in the food court at the mall. <laughs> and then, like, he thought it was dumbing down, getting a job at Best Buy. But old girl was like, oh. Boy, you doing something at least. And it's like, you don't have that in you all the time. Mm -hmm. So that potential, it can wear you out. But I do believe that potential with action behind it is what's necessary and okay for you to stay around with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we said it before, like intention and execution. And it's a lot of people that have big dreams and very little follow through. So many people that you can sit down and talk to them. And honestly, it's a lot of niggas, and I hate mm-hmm. it. But the, you'll sit down, they be like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to mm-hmm. do this, I'm going to do that. And then you look back a month later, and it's like, what did you do? Right. Well, so no, see, I'm talking. It is, I think it's interesting because, you know, men are supposed to be, you know, like mm-hmm. visionary, and women are supposed to be, you know, help me. 
Mm. <laughs> and um, they say they, they see it. They pretty. <laughs> they so say. I I don't I can't say you know I don't live that life. I gotta figure out things on my own from time to time. <laughs> but they say that a woman will help you get the job done. And you know, not to say that women don't come up with ideas because right. we're uh, we're amazing. Let's be clear. <laughs> but oftentimes, like like she said, like they say, oh, I got a plan for this. This one happened. That one happened. Da 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 da. But that driving force behind it. A good man will tell you. You get a good woman behind him a lot of times. Tell you. And sometimes it's not you. always his mother. Um, I was supposed to say it's not his always woman. his mother. <laughs> it's not always his woman. It could be his sister, a his, sister, his a friend. close friend. Yeah. Like it's just something we have. We have pieces <laughs> that are necessary <laughs> to get the it. job done. Yes. Um, and I think too, like you were just saying, like it takes a lot. You need to really have people around you that push you to that potential, to maturing that potential. Because everybody can have a dream, but you gotta wake up and work it at some point. Right. And even For down sure. to how um Molly and Issa, I honestly think if she would have went to her, well, I, I can't speak for Molly. I mean, I could, but I can't. Um, if she went to Molly and she said, "Listen, this is how I see this relationship. Do you want it?" Mm-hmm. What can we do? How can we do this? I think it would have been you different. <laughs> you you call like you said, said you would. Um, it would have been different than saying, like, girl, you just messy. Sometimes we jump to um, what we see without giving a person a chance to explain what's mm-hmm. going on. Because, like, our perspective is one thing. Like, you see somebody crying in the street. You're like, oh, let me go help them. You know, watch, especially kids. Watch it because half the time they be crying because they are dealing with consequences of what they've done. And sometimes they be a part of a scam. So. That too. <laughs> so like it's it's literally like that. That's how I feel. Like sometimes we come at people with what we have seen, what we have assumed. For sure. And once we go off and say that, people become defensive. Mm-hmm. It's literally like going to somebody and being like, Girl, you don't work at all. Like now you could say, mm-hmm. you know, hey, what are you what are you doing? Like, mm-hmm. what are you into? Whatever. And they'll probably open up and say, oh, you know, I'm looking into this. Right. Or I've tried that. But if you go to them and say, girl, I ain't never see you work a day in your life. Mm-hmm. Now they're going to be like, I work. And tell I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Somebody up here, they might be home a lot. But if y'all spent the day with her. Oh, my God. Yeah. Y'all would be. You wouldn't survive. You would not survive. You wouldn't. You would be going straight to hell. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't make not it. <laughs> You wouldn't make it. But, like, that's... And I think that's really what it is. I think there was truth in what both of them had to say. I do think that this season, it was pretty messy of Issa trying to figure out what the relation, what she wanted, how she wanted this man to be. What did she actually want? How did she want her career in a relationship? I think that was a mess. I mean, we all lived through a mess and a situation. But I think what Molly should have said was, are you being real about how you feel about this Lawrence situation? Because when Issa and her brother went out, she was honest with him and said, I feel a way. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Like, she said it. Right. So it's not that Molly was off. It's that her delivery was off. And the same thing with Issa talking about Molly. It was like, you know, she did feel like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to deal with this relationship. But because of the way she came at her, they all yeah, had their guards I up think, and didn't That's the thing. Like, I just think... That's and that's the whole big point of it is within relationships, period, is just the communication. Because if you don't communicate, you don't have you leave so much room for assumption. And assumption will just ruin uh any kind of relationship, period. Yeah. So that's the that's the negative part of the whole thing is that this really could have been mm-hmm. solved so much quicker yeah. if they would have sat down and just listened to each other and talked to one another. Because at the end of the day, each one of them thought that they were putting valid yeah. valid parts of them into this relationship. They right. thought that they were doing everything that they could to, you know, help this relationship move to a better place. Mm-hmm. Um, they thought that they were being good friends to one another. Yeah. But in all actuality, like, the, what I always tell people is, I can't be the friend that you think I should be for you. Like, like for sure. Like, I can only be a friend how I know how to be a friend. Now, you can tell me what you expect from me, and I can try to the best of my ability to fulfill that, but you knew that coming into being a friend with me. Mm. So, yeah, I will grow and get better in certain areas and aspects, but at the same time, you have to understand that I'm not you. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to do the same things that you do. I'm not. I, I'm. That's just not my function. Because if that was the case, then we probably wouldn't be cool like that. You know, you got to understand the balance of it. Mm-hmm. Um. So I think I think that's where they lacked with a lot of things. Is just knowing uh, they didn't remember who they were. 
Yeah, they didn't go back to they, what brought them together. Yes. And sometimes you really have to, especially when you can't agree, you have to go back to what started it. Yes. Like, what did you like about this person? Mm-hmm. What made you have this connection? Yeah. And, like, you really, honestly, I'm all about safe words. Like, if you need to have a safe word to say, like, let's, let's look, look, this is getting too much. Mm-hmm. Let's bring it down to this level. Or let's honestly sit. My safe word is a book. I'm throwing it. <laughs> Well, guys, a lot of changes happened this season. And um, one of the biggest changes was Tiffany um, having that baby. And uh, we saw her in a completely different light. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm not not a mom, so I can't talk about postpartum. So the only thing... I can't either because you will get wild out. (laughs) You're pretty harsh about it. The one thing that I can speak on and say in this situation is that I really appreciated who Derek was to her at this time. Absolutely, yeah. Um... I personally probably could have wowed her out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the fact that he embraced Took a totally her different approach. and he stepped up. He just understood. Because and I think the reason why he understood a lot of it is because he actually did see some of the signs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um his yeah, he her did friends, call it out. her friends weren't around as much. Now Kelly, however, was around a lot more, yeah. um, if I'm not mistaken. But she said she almost breastfed that child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she was around a lot more. So she could see people. things a little bit, you know, clear. That's why she I felt like she was more invested. But the fact that um, even though they were going through their issues, they came and um, rallied to find her because mm-hmm. um, sure. guys, she rolled out, she bounced, yeah, she needed she, some time. She, needed she some time. caught a bus, and that was hard. Like I think that episode really took me. It, it like jolted everything, mm-hmm. and that's literally how it is. Like you will have a moment where you and your friend are not talking, and the the moment, like the part of your life that's intersected, will uh-huh. call for y'all to be there together. Uh-huh. And it's the worst moment ever. Mm-hmm. And you have the option in that moment to still be angry or to fix it. Right. And most people still be angry because it's a pride thing. Right. But in that moment, like. Molly and Issa didn't worry about we don't like each other. They right. came together because it was about Tiffany. Mm-hmm. And they literally had to do like some all of this looking through security tape and right. figuring out clues and all this. It was legit like murder mysteries at this and point. The only re- Not murder <laughs> mysteries. She wasn't dead. And but and the thing about it is that they had that they figured it out because they knew her. They yeah. knew what steps she would take. Oh, it's a ball here, bam. Oh, it's this here. You know, oh, she ain't go over so memory, far. Yeah. Oh, so those type of things because they knew her. So once again, they pulled on the fact of things that they knew past of her to help them to relate to find and her now. Attention. You pay and attention to the people in your life. Yes. You really have to do that. And I mean, I just appreciated them, you know, bringing this to light in so many different as- aspects because a lot of times people think that because you don't show necessarily signs of it because you appear that all is well, um, that, or that it doesn't happen. You could look, you could look, like all is not well and they might just think that you being a bad mother right because mm-hmm. when she told sure Derek did. to go home and get that baby and she <laughs> yeah, was still yeah. partying I was like oh she just wants to have a good time <laughs> but really she's dealing with a mental issue right. like it's very real and I, I do love the time that we're in now with so much more awareness yes. um, and people know more so it's a lot where people before would just dismiss it like oh she crazy or whatever mm-hmm. especially generations before like, even I was saying that health. they used to call it because she was reading my call I was saying that they used to call it the baby blues mm, yeah back in the day that's I'm sorry but that's I'm not, not to be that confused old, with blue I'm, babies yeah that's yeah, a very yeah. Big deal. <laughs> um, but one thing I do want to say because I know we got to hop on this Lawrence Condola brick baby situation Dude. but one thing I do want to say is even in this I do think the one thing I really loved about this season was that they did not allow us to hear the resolution conversation I love that mm. because um, I was talking to my cousin about it and I was just like, it doesn't matter what's said. People that have chosen sides are right. going to find a reason why they shouldn't be. Right. They're going to. So when they had us sitting there at their favorite restaurant together, mm-hmm. having a conversation, all we can do is see and not hear. I respected that so much because sometimes, like we said, you hold on to something and somebody else has let it go and they want to forgive and they want to move forward. But you're going to be like, oh, right. oh, Issa, she tried to fight you at your block party. Oh, Molly, she did this. Blah, blah, blah. Like, right. it's, it was never, whatever they said was not going to satisfy either side. Right. So the fact that they had to figure that out on their own, I respect that and I really appreciate that. And I think that was genius on the part of the directors. Um, and also, sometimes friendships do not end with resolution. Right. Sometimes they don't. You have to understand and be real about it. Like, Okay, we've had a conversation. This is still toxic. We have not reached an agreement. Sometimes we gotta. Understand. And the thing about it is, you have to understand that you can still be friends and not be in that same place. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, like, I think that that's okay. Or understanding that there, that now there's a new level of friendship. Right. Like you know, like I have, I have a friend, and people, 
they don't like her. But no. you know what I'm saying? People don't like her. But the thing about it is it, there is an understanding that, no, we're not in a place that we used to be. But there is also an understanding that just like the situation with Kelly, if there is a need, I'm there. Now, do I know if that person is there for me? I don't know. But... Yeah, and that's why I'm okay. I feel like they're not friends. Because right, it's like a you're difference. a friend to them, but they're not a friend to you. But I'm, and so when so you go to this new level of friendship, it's just like, all right, you're my daughter now. I'll help you when you need <laughs> But that's the thing. And I, I think, too, like you said, different levels of friendship would uh-huh. be like, okay, now we have to make an adjustment. But yeah. we still have a mutual understanding together. I don't think it's friendship when one person is wait, ho- having a load and the other person's not. And, of course, everybody doesn't do everything. And every load is different, though. Right, but there should be certain yes. standards oh. And certain Lights, things that's built colors. in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> like, Get out of here, whatever. Just like we'll the the standards that y'all built your friendship on, honesty, respect, mm-hmm. integrity, support, those things should still be there, even if it's minimized. That's uh-huh. how I feel. So And I don't agree with either one of them. Because I just <laughs> I can't if I'm gonna be your friend, I'm gonna be your friend all the way, or I'm not be gonna your be friend, your friend. Be your friend. So it's be just like no. But once again, that's you. That's yeah, what she that's said. Why, I don't agree. That's why I said it's me. <laughs> so when I'm not your friend anymore, that's just it. I'm not your <laughs> friend anymore. Now, will I like if something dire happens? I don't want to see you out. Just you know, I'm not one of those people. Now there are some people that if they were on fire, I wouldn't. What do they say? Piss on them. Um, but. <laughs> And I drink a lot of water, so it would definitely help. Oh, my God. But, <laughs> but I'm better than you, so I'm not pissing on you. <laughs> <laughs> but because I am better than people sometimes, <laughs> I will see a person on fire and definitely help them out. And see, that's what we different. When it's like done. A lady. Like a lady. You hear me? When it's done, I'm done. Like, if we, if I know this ain't nothing, I don't care if you're on fire. That, that's not my concern anymore. Oh, you chose my God. The fire. So you can clearly see there are different. Like, yeah, it's different. Like, that's so now, strange if, to me. If we, she can have lower level friends, but she can't help a dying <laughs> person. Like, me? <laughs> Yeah, she is. Yeah, what I'm saying is if we've decided like, okay, we friends, but I can't see you as often or, you know, this don't work or, you know, you, you just a, you a fly by friend. night, you a fly by night friend now. Like we can see each other, mm-hmm. you know, holiday friend, like happy Thanksgiving, that oh sort of God. friend, as opposed to like a me talking about my life sort of friend. That's different. Like I don't have any animosity. You just are not. We just not in the same place. But if we are See, no yeah, longer I friends, I consider them friends. They probably if I, if I still talk. First of all, I don't even the do those holiday things. I do. That's hate them a, that's text. the thing for me. That's so. It's that's what I'm saying. If this history there and it's like oh we got die this down and we not trying to like die it down to build it back up. Like oh you you cross me. Now, that's see, that's it. and that, now that was one thing because you just reminded me of something that I wanted to talk about before. Oh, um, it was <laughs> because. We we could see that they were Issa and Molly were trying to build their friendship or whatever, but kind of wasn't at the same time. Yeah. So we saw that they went to, to Tiffany and no, what's the name house? Um, to old boy's house, Asian Bay, Asian Bay. Both of them, which Asian I really Bay liked. And I really liked and Nathan, and I really I wanted to talk he about him a little bit because gone. I really liked Asian Bay, um, this season Asian. because um. He really held it down in so many aspects for Molly within the season, he and did. I feel like she didn't do the same for him. Mm-hmm. Like I, if it, if I had to be on a team between Molly and him, I'm definitely Team Asian Bay because mm-hmm. he stuck it out in avenues, <laughs> avenues that he didn't want to take part in. But because it was something that um, she wanted, uh, because it was something that she wanted, he was like, "All right, I'll go ahead and I'll do it and I'll take care of it." But it's just it's just so unfair um, that she didn't do the same thing for him in a lot of aspects. Like, she didn't even try. Like, she would just flat out just say, no, no. But she would try but to brush she, it off. She like, tried toward the end, but I think it was too late. It was, that's, and that's what I was going to get to. Like, sometimes you get it, but it's too late. Yeah. It's like, like because you see, like, oh, my God, like, I'm about to lose something that I really have been asking for, that i really been wanting. Because we know deep down she has been wanting a relationship, but she has not been right with relationships, period, since she found out that her father... And mother mm-hmm. had that issue. Yeah. Since that, it's been downhill for her. So that kind of destroyed her whole. Did? I just feel like that just I destroyed mean, her whole perception that's of what she, that's what, what she viewed relationships yes. as. And once that before. foundation, that was like a yeah. goal for her. Once that so foundation when, was destroyed, she had nothing else. Yeah. To build. So she was she just like, I'm it. lost. I'm out here. Like I don't know. Like what is what is love? If right. Don't hurt me, oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, what is it? <laughs> but um, I just I I think that. Oh, I'm sorry. You was gonna talk about when she, you was at the house and they was at. Oh yeah, so mm-hmm. yeah, they was in there and um. Thank you so much. So 
<laughs> so I think that the breakdown really came with it with them is when she sent that text. Mm-hmm. And you know, because they were there and they were having a good time, so it appeared. And but we could see that Asia Bay had given her that look, like I'm so proud of you. And she kind of gave, um, Molly kind of gave him that look back, like I'm I doing know. it. I got, it. I, you know, I type got of thing. It, I got it. <laughs> and then she sent the text or whatever. And see, this type of stuff that happens, y'all. You just got to be careful. You got to pay attention to your text. Um, <laughs> yes, that is <laughs> true. <laughs> but she sent My the girl. text to Molly. I mean, to, to Issa. Issa and Issa looked at it like, wow. And immediately, immediately, she just got up. Because like, it don't seem sincere now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to put forth an effort. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already saw that it was an un- uncomfortable position when we walked in. And I was trying to make excuses. I, you know what I'm saying? You knew I was hungry. You knew I was hungry because I'm always hungry. Uh, and, <laughs> and, you know, we tried to make effort here. But you, this wasn't even you know sincere at all like you really didn't even want to do this the thing is and this is it's an awkward and once place. again she came out to try to fix it but it was i felt like at that moment it was too For late Molly. yeah it was too late yeah but it's when you're in an awkward place because i've been in this awkward place several times mm-hmm. me and other people on this show <laughs> when you're in an awkward place mm-hmm. you have to make a decision to say mm-hmm. we're gonna get through the awkwardness right because otherwise you're gonna be like no this not worth it like when you go from talking to somebody every single day about every moment mm-hmm. to being like Good morning. When you on like actual full out word terms, mm-hmm. like good morning, how are you? When y'all used to be like, nigga, what's up? Like, right. it's a lot that you gonna feel like I'm not. I don't. I don't have to deal. So, with this. but the thing is, you gotta be upfront about that. Right. So, yeah, yeah. like the last time that I'm the other person in the show, guys, I'm not afraid <laughs> for you all to know. The last time that we had that issue, and I told you, like, look, I don't know what it is you want from me, but I do know that this is a lack for you. So, what I'll do is I'll make sure I talk to you every single day. So, and I made you understand in that moment, like, I, I'm literally making sure that I talk to you every single day. So if I just say, hey, what's up? That's me checking in every single day. And if it gets back to that, that's why I said you got to make it clear yeah. if you're trying to break rebuild. it down to rebuild yeah. or you're just breaking it down, period. Yeah. And it's like, well, we are part of this family, so we still just got to be cordial. Mm-hmm. Or, well, this is something that we actually need to work on and right. then we'll, we, we will rebuild this. And... Like we said from the beginning of our episode, communication is such a big factor. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that either one of them was just like up front and said, yeah, this all right, is you really pissing me off. Yeah. And, right. But because I love you, because you've been here, because we have this history, I don't want us to lose all of that. Mm-hmm. So I'll work on this, but I want you to understand that while I'm working on this, I'm this probably is- still going to have an attitude. Yeah, but the thing- and I'm probably still going to be pissed off with you, but I am going to try. And yes. you can receive that or not receive that. Because when, she, when I talk her but I told her she could have been like well if that's what you're gonna give me then I don't really want it because I'm that kind of person if you're not giving me something that's authentic because what I'm gonna do and I hope she will attest to this right now I will tell you I will tell you this is what I'm very particular about how I like to be dealt with sometimes. Ooh. So it's like, yeah, talk to me, but talk to me nice or talk to me right. And I'm like, this is how I want you to ask me something right now. Or this is how I want you to act when I am when I am this way. I might be a different way tomorrow, and this is how I need you to be when I am that way. But with her, it's like, you just got to figure it no, out. No, 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 stop. Two stop, against stop. one. Stop. Two no, against no, one. No, stop, 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 figure, stop. Honey. No, that's their perception. This is their reality. But the thing you is, can't, with that You can't agree to that this year? Then you can't agree to that? No. With that, you can't agree I to that this cannot. year? I cannot. I already said no. You, well, you I just agreed can't. to it after I read that article to you. No. With that situation, with, with her She's situation. She's a liar, guys. It was very. It's the blonde hair. Shut it up. Turn um, into a It was liar. very true. Like, I had to. She had to come to me and say, this is how I want to be handled. Because, like, I'm a all or nothing sort of person. So, if I care about you, I'm going to care all. Or I'm not going to care at all. And then sometimes that can be overwhelming for some people. Like, if I'm like, yes. tell me what's wrong. What's going on? Tell me. I need to know. And it's like, I don't want to talk about it. Why don't you want to talk about it? I care enough to tell you to come to you to figure it out. And it's just like, this is too much for me. Now, for me, when somebody hits me with that, I feel like that's rejection. Because you're telling me the love that I'm trying to give you, you don't want. So, when you tell me you don't want it, guess what I'm going to do? Take it back. But that's not what was happening. And this is what we mean, like, the communication. Because sometimes you're saying what you want, but it's not being heard the way it needs to be heard. Because what she was telling me was, I want what you want. I want the love you want to give, but I can't handle all of this. And what I was saying is, I want to give you love, but I can't handle you telling me you don't want. Like, it was a... It it was just dumb. But it wasn't dumb. I'm sorry. You need to ask some people to repeat. Now, tell me. 
Yeah, what like did I say? The, uh, one good thing is hearing back yeah. what they heard. Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. it's like, once this again, is not, this is not what Talk to said. me, but talk to me right. <laughs> a guy said that to me before, and he was, he has since come out of the grave, and we are cool with it. <laughs> but in that very moment, when he said, repeat back to me what I said, oh, yeah. I that's, said, that's I'm not your right. child. I'm not your child. You don't your need child. to say repeat back to me. So if she was to tell me, look, you doing too much right now, I was like, so you're telling me, blah. Right, that's right, supposed right. to be saying, no, tell me what I just said. That's very different. <laughs> How you speak to somebody is that's very different. Talk to me. Yes, girl. Talk to yes, me right. Talk to but me But another right. thing that is difficult when you are a person that's learning your feelings is to express what you want and what you need. And the one thing that I know Molly did that I know I do is you assume that people know what hurts right because you think they know you so it's certain things that i'll be like everybody everybody knows this pisses me off everybody knows so why would i have to tell you that this makes me mad when you should know this and there's so many things that i don't say anything about because it's like you should know like duh you should know this is common sense (laughs) you should know and so what i'll do is i'll have just a track of you should have known i don't need to explain it you should have known and then once i reach whatever the the feeling is then i'm done and i literally just, just don't shut think that down you should be off. that way, guys. I'm telling them it's not good. <laughs> uh, then I'll just shut down and cut off. And then it's like, what's wrong? And then I literally, I have receipts. Like, I'll pull back all of the stuff. And the one thing that people always say is, well, why didn't you say anything? And my thing is, why did I have to say something? You should notice. Like, you should notice this. But I have Assumption. to realize. You should notice. We did talk about you noticing your friends. But I have to realize in that people can notice, but sometimes they don't notice it the way you need it to be noticed. So somebody can be like, oh, like Candace said the other day, she tried to text me and I was upset. She could have been like, oh, she just mad. She could have said she mad at me. That could have been a thing. But when she reached out and she was like, are you okay? It allowed me to say, this is what's wrong. Now, had I, and I wasn't in that space, but had I been in this space where it's like, look at her. I clearly don't feel well. She ain't even say nothing. Okay. I see how she is. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to be like, she don't care about me. So I'm not going to tell her nothing else. Literally how I think. I'm not going to tell her nothing else. And this this was just us the beginning of this year, y'all. So it was the beginning of this year. So change can happen. Just like change is going to happen for Molly and Issa. (laughs) Yes. It's definitely going to happen. That's why. Maybe if you feel like it, you got to feel like it. That's what I'm saying. saying. Whatever, whatever, the change is going to happen. Whether it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to, a change is coming. But I can't. (laughs) Change (laughs) don't come. Just sit up here and be a testimony. And I really, honestly, now that I look at what we've been through and what we've gone through, and I specifically mean Big Bun over here, what we've been through and what we've gone through, I can say that the moments. Big Bun. It is. The moments <laughs> that the moments that brought us low allowed us to go even higher mm-hmm. in our friendship and our mm. relationship. So I won't say that I don't think we needed them. I did hate them, but I do see their point. I see their value. And it's certain things that we've learned about each other and ourselves through these moments that we couldn't get any other way. So I do think these situations are necessary. And in any relationship, you're going to have these growing pains. You're going to have these moments. But what you do with them is what matters. And I do love now like the first fallout was probably the worst but since then every time we've had a situation it's got our recovery has gotten better so i do see that as different like i'll see like even now like if it's a day we'll be like no what's up what's wrong whatever however we have learned to communicate that with each other and we're still learning because it changes mm-hmm. like you know certain things happen certain moments happen so often. certain moments happen certain situations that you don't know how you're going to respond to because you have never been faced with them they happen so you really have to learn that this is a journey that other people are growing through too and sometimes y'all growing into each other and it's painful but once y'all That's understand like and untangle roots. yeah once y'all understand and untangle y'all are both going in the same direction and it doesn't have to be that way now once again what we're going to say to you guys is if you um know someone that is um, going through depression of any kind or struggling, um, you know, try to direct them to a therapist or a counselor help. or a hotline um, to help them through these issues or direct them to someone that can handle what mm-hmm. you believe that they're going through, even if they say that they're not, you know, um, but be very cautious of your words at the same time. And at the end of the day, prayer always does help. It does. It definitely does. Um, and then last thing, because we have to go. We definitely. Yeah. Uh, um, Lawrence ended up getting Condola pregnant. Oh. And this is at, at the moment where we see where Lawrence and Issa I was coming back say, together yeah, romantically. They just made a decision. And we Issa all now. are here for it. We're yes. all here for it. Yes. And now he has to drop the news that he has somebody else pregnant. How we feel about break babies? <laughs> the thing about it is. I couldn't deal with it. Um, 
Oh, Unless man. it was mine. If it's mine, then you got to deal with it. It, but. <laughs> it, really de- it really depends on how much time you have put into the relationship and how much you desire to still be in it. Now, what I will say is that I believe that... Um, that from this she may start out like I can't handle this because I think that that's pretty much where she is right now yeah. but I think that she's going to tr- change her mind yeah. um, I think that she's going to realize be- because I feel like at some point you, you've you seen from previous things that it gets better mm-hmm. so because of the transition that they already made they already split they already know you know what's what she already know the bad end of it um, she knows that because he's already spoken out of his mouth he wants this with her Mm -hmm. and not with condola this was not something that was planned this is not something um that you know he wanted to happen yes it's here yes we can deal with it and we can move forward and i think that she can do it now do i think that it's going to hurt her to her heart yes because Mm -hmm. i know that she wanted a baby with him first so um when and sometimes when you lose that that part of you um knowing that I wanted to be your first in this. You you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because Girl, within their relationship, sure. they were first with a lot of things. But yeah. but this, I don't, it's going to be gut-wrenching. And I don't mm. know if it's going to start out, you know, with the season of her accepting it. But I think that through the journey, um, she will. She'll come around. Wow. And that's even if the baby stays. Mm, that is true. But Condola can, Condola said, pregnant in real life. Yeah, so no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I understand that. No, I, I know I'm that saying, she wants the baby, but, but yeah, it, is she gonna make it to term? Yeah, things can happen. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god! But I'm saying that the actress, that. the actress is actually pregnant, so I, I think that it probably will. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that makes sense. It'd be so much. I mean, she could drop that, that baby belly. before the new season. No, I'm saying like you, you right? Yeah, because yeah, the way filming, they do seasons, right? They film it. But no, I think it does take a strong relationship to get through something like this, and. The one thing that really hit me, like in their like last episodes, when she was like, "I just want to be happy, and you make me happy," mm-hmm. um, and her realizing that and having that honest talk, like even when she had to talk to him, like she had to sit there and say, "Like this, I want this with you," right? Mm-hmm. And right. that was difficult for her at a certain point. And then now it's like everything was going so well, and this happens, and it's just like my world was shattered, and he ain't even with me. I know. So yeah, and I think this is a different kind of break, baby. Um, like, you have some break babies, like, you know, it's like, oh, we separated. And I was just you, out there just doing it. Right. But this <laughs> is like, we were legit yeah. over. Right. right. Um, and We were on a break. It's like, it's like, well, <laughs> like, they were more than a well, break, guys. They were over. Yeah. They was on a whoop whoop. <laughs> so, I just think that it could be okay, but it would just be the other factors of it. Like, oh, mm-hmm. what if she never is able to get pregnant? Yeah. Or what if Condola is a horrible... Um, and she really wanted her yeah. out of their life. That was the other thing, too. Issa. She yeah, just, she wanted Condola gone. Yeah. I but mean, because her hairline is horrible. So. Wow. On the show, at least. I haven't paid attention to it in real life. <laughs> so, But we're just talking about Congo right now. <laughs> um, So I think it's like... It's the little factors mm-hmm. that can make something horrible. You know, like... Pepper pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, hopefully but. it can work out and they can be together. I am I I am a product of a blended family and I believe in it. That's all I'm gonna I'm say a about blended of a family families. that was blended and then separated, honey. You know how that natural the mm. natural drinks you get, they'd be like, Oh, it's gonna separate. That's how my family was. So mm. yeah. Um but we Would have no more time. Girl. Yeah, we don't have any more to talk about. What well, we, we do, no but not to We have not no today. more time. Not today. Um, and <laughs> again, like we told you guys, feel free to let us know if you want to have this conversation on live or if you want to have any other conversations. We're here for that. But our episode has concluded. Yes. And how can they let us know? Um, to- let's, listen, guys, you can email us at blackgirlbroadcast at gmail.com. And of course, y'all can follow us on social media on Instagram at blackgirl underscore broadcast. I'm sorry, blackgirl.broadcast underscore BGB. On Twitter at BLKGRL Broadcast. And on Facebook by searching Black Girl Broadcast. And you're obviously listening to us now on your favorite podcast site. So what you can do is watch our YouTube video if you really want to see what's going on. But don't forget to tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to follow us on our podcast site at BG... I'm oh, sorry, it's not an app, but just search for us. BGB, Black Girl Broadcast, and like, subscribe, and sign Review, up for rate. notifications. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and until next time, mm. appreciate the relationships you have and work on them every day.
Mm. Especially the one with yourself. Yeah. Um, know that within um, things that happen with you, there's not always a trigger, but there's always a way out. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so deep. <laughs> what I'll leave you all with is talk to people, but talk to them nice and talk to them right. <laughs> See y'all. Peace.